Hi everybody, welcome to the Squirrels class meet the new teacher meeting. Sorry we're not doing this in person, I know it's completely rubbish, but I'm glad that I can share some things with you now to let you know what year two will be like for your lovely, lovely children. Um, I'm going to turn the camera off and work my way through the presentation um, and hopefully it'll answer any of the questions that you might have about this year. Um, the PowerPoint itself will be on the website and the video is being shared on YouTube as well. So you can keep referring back to it. There's an, probably a lot to take in in one go. Feel free to pause the video at any point, um, come back to it whenever, or you can email me anytime and I'll answer your questions that way too. So I'm Mrs. Blades and I'm the class teacher. Uh, and I'm supported on a Monday afternoon and a Wednesday morning by Miss Bo Um then on a Wednesday afternoon when I'm out of class on my planning time, the children have Mrs Molyneux for RE and then they go with Multiplex for their PE session. Uh, with regards to coronavirus, if your child has symptoms, symptoms, obviously we need to, they need to be kept off school and we need to be informed. Um, when we know that your child is isolating, we will set work and pop it onto Google Classroom. Um, and if you could then let us know how they've got on and if you've got any problems or anything, either on the email address, as I say, or you can always pop a comment on Google Classroom too, that's fine. Um, here's our timetable for this year. Um, we have English and maths every morning. Um, phonics will usually be in the morning apart from on a Tuesday when we push it into the afternoon. And... Um, we have lots and lots of things going on, lots of things happening. Um, so yeah, the children have settled in really well to the timetable actually and are enjoying the lessons that we're doing up to now. This is just a quick note about the milk. Um, you can ask for your child to have milk through the Cool Milk website and you set your order up on there and it gets delivered to school and then we get a list of who's ordered it and it gets handed out at break times. Um, Class Dojo, which I know you'll be familiar with already. Um, we have awards basically on there for lots of classroom, things like behavior and hard work. And, you know, we were quite into adding extra dojos in this class when we feel that we've found something that there isn't one a category for. So we add dojos for um, good ideas and for mindfulness. We've got dojos for being brave, keeping the classroom tidy. Um, just things like that that crop up that we think, oh, we could do with a dojo for that, then we add them on. Um, you should have received a letter last week with your child's login information for Class Dojo. Uh, if you need it again, please let me know because I can send it out. And if you have any issues with it, let me know and I'll try and fix it at my end. And if I can't fix it, I'll ask someone who's got a little bit more idea about technology than I do. Um, usually it is just a quick fix though, so just um, just let us know if you're having any problems. We're not using the messaging service on there, though. So if you need to get in touch with me, then again, class email address is ideal or even ring in school. We've still got our traffic light system in play as well, which the children are really used to now. Everybody starts their every day on green. And then if issues arise, we, they can have them moved to yellow or potentially even orange or red. But I'm really pleased to say that we have had absolutely everybody on green since the start of the half term because they've all been absolute superstars. Um, now that we are back at school and we are learning again, we're going to have lots of focus on our global goals, um, which sort of underpin everything that we do here at Wincham. Um, we'd like to try and refer to them throughout things like our topic lessons, our science as well. And we like to feed them in wherever we possibly can. Uh, we're also hoping to have a um, global goals fortnight in October, like we did a couple of years ago, which should be lots and lots of fun. Our topic this term in the infants is what was life like for my grandparents when they were my age. Um, your children should have received a letter last week asking them if possible, um, we know it's not always possible, but if they could get some information from their grandparents about what things were like when they were little. So in terms of their school life, their home life, what food they ate, what toys they had, that sort of thing. And then we can use the information from those letters to help us to learn lots about what life was like um, for our grandparents. Um, 
we're hoping to have a visit from somebody from Warrington Museum next month who will be able to bring some toys from the past with them, which should be really exciting. And we're going to do lots of different activities throughout the term with history focus, geography focus, and an art and design focus too. Um, in English, the Toy Museum, the Lost in the Toy Museum book, is the story we're covering first, linked to our topic. Um, we've so far only looked at the front cover and the inside cover as well. We've been very busy this week looking at the pictures of the real life toys from this story that are actually in the Museum of Childhood in London. And the children have loved seeing the, both the illustration and the picture of the real, the photograph of the real toy itself. Um, lots of lots of descriptions been going on this week. It's been fantastic. And as we move through the story as well, there's lots and lots of opportunities for writing. We're also going to look at Christmas at the Toy Museum a little closer to the big day, sorry to mention the Christmas word so early on in the term, but yeah, that's in the um, the pipeline for nearer to Christmas. Our guided reading text to begin with this half term is going to be Hibernation Hotel, and then just a little class novel for us to work through when we've got some spare five minutes for a story is Monty and Those for Trouble, which the children are going to love. Our handwriting, the children learn all their cursive letters last year, so we're going to have a few weeks of practicing those to make sure that we are forming those correctly before we then move on to learning the different joins that the children need to know. Um, if possible, you could encourage them to write cursively at home when they are doing their homework. That would be really helpful because then they can see that they're using it not only just in school, but at home as well. Um, and there's just a quick note on the slide there saying that whenever you're doing these letters, the cursive letters, they start in the bottom left. Um, reading and phonics. We've adopted a new pro approach to reading and phonics, sorry, called Read Write Inc. Um, if you already have children at Wincham who are a bit older, you'll notice that things are maybe a little bit different. Um, we'll be working through some of the special friends, which is the word in this scheme for digraphs. We're working through those over the next few weeks. And we are starting to send home reading books. Um, books will be sent home every Wednesday. Your child will come home with two reading books and they can read those at home as many times as they want and they are to be returned the following Tuesday. Um, we can only then give out more books on the Wednesday if the books came back on the Tuesday, so please make sure that they come back into us um, on that Tuesday. We've not got a reading diary. They can read them as much as they like and there's also, of course, access to book club still to make sure they've got um, a wide range of texts to access not just the read writing stories but lots of other things too and then in terms of the phonics the children will be being assessed on the phonics screen and check in the second half of this term um so after the october holidays sometime the date hasn't been arranged yet um because the year one phonics screen and check was obviously postponed from the summer term um so the government has, has asked us to assess them between october and christmas just to see where they are at um, but we'll have more information on that nearer the time. Um, lots of opportunities during the day for reading. We do whole class guided reading texts. Um, I read with the children whenever I can and Miss Bopham Road does too when she's with us. We have the reading books that we're starting to send home. There's book club, don't forget about that. Um, we do lots of comprehension activities in class, both through our guided reading book and through the text that we are using in our English lessons. And we sort of recommend reading for 20 minutes each night at home. And if you can get to a library, we know things are a bit tricky these days, but if you can get to a library, then you know that's such a wonderful thing for your child to experience. Quick go over on Book Club. I know that you've used it before and it's it's a familiar thing. You know, the, the children, seem to enjoy it there's lots of popular characters on there <clears throat> the quiz questions are brilliant they're useful for me too because i can look back and at their answers and see if there's any areas particularly in comprehension that they need a bit of help with um and we can target the books as well according to phonics ability um as well as the the book bands too in terms of logging in um the website is just there on the slide your child's got a Username, which is usually which is the first three letters of their first name and the first three letters of their surname, and then an eight letter password, which is usually a four letter word twice. And the school code is Wicco. They were sent home the other day with a sheet with their login details on for Book Club, as well as Google Classroom, EdShed, and Numbot. So you've got them all in one handy place.
Um, when you get onto Book Club, just a quick recap, their books that they have been allocated are in their stuff. Um, there will be multiple books in there at any one time. They only leave my stuff once all the bugs have been answered, which basically means all the bugs have closed their eyes and gone to sleep. Um, but then they pop up in their library and they can read them again if they want to. They just don't get any more bug points from it. Um, and they seem to really enjoy the rewards and things like that, which is, you know, an, an extra added bonus for them. Here's a list of the year one and year two common exception words, which the children need to know how to read and to spell. We'll do lots of practice on these throughout the year, but if they can practice them at home too, that'll be really helpful. Um, moving on to maths, you know, throughout the year, we will cover everything we need to cover, starting at the moment with place value. Just having a bit of a recap this week while the children settle in before moving on to larger numbers from next week. Um, we'll then move on to addition and subtraction and multiplication and division, where we'll have lots of times tables practice too. Um, we will at various points during the year look at measures in different ways, so length, mass, weight, capacity, volume. Um, we will look at money, although money can be interwoven through lots of the other um, topics in this too, as well as time and 2D and 3D shape. Homework will be set each Friday. I'll post it onto Google Classroom with a little message about what there is to do. Um, and then any attachments will be on the message on the main stream. So it might be that there's a sheet to look at, or I will try and put the links onto all the different websites like Book Club, Edshed and Numbox. Um, what we set is closely linked to what we've been doing in class that week, and then it's due in by the following Wednesday. All I ask is that you make a comment on the message that I put on the stream to say that you've done your homework, or if you want to, you can post a photo on the stream or even email me something. It's completely up to you, but as long as I know through a little message on Google Classroom that your child has done their homework, then that's fine, and I'll be able to give out lots and lots of dojos, which they're already very excited about. PE is Wednesday afternoon with Multiflex and Thursday afternoon with me. We're still coming into school with our kits on, which is brilliant, actually. It saves lots and lots of time. So as we approach some slightly cooler weather, um, it wouldn't hurt to maybe make sure they've got tracksuit trousers in their bag if they're not already wearing them, just in case the weather changes during the day. Uh, we have the No Outsiders scheme in our school as well, where we use an age-appropriate book to teach about an aspect of the Equalities Act. Today, we are, today, sorry, this half term, our focus is going to be on the book called What the Jackdaw Saw by Julia Donaldson, which helps us to understand why and how people communicate in different ways. It's a lovely story and the children are really going to enjoy that one. There's a little slide here all about pupil premium. Um, if you want to pause it and have a quick read through it. Homeschool communication, if you've not got the School Spiders app, it's a really good app to have. You can, there's instructions on that on how to download it. Um, things like dates for your diary and parent season appointments go up on there. So it's a, it's quite a useful tool to have. Um, you just may need to go via the school office to get the actual login itself. Um, of course, Winch and Family and Friends, they are a massive support to our school and um, they do wonderful, wonderful things for us, raising lots of money to provide things for the children um, and for the school itself. Things have been a bit different over the last couple of years and we haven't had quite as many events as we would have loved to. So, you know, it's important that we really pull together and, and um, make a real effort to help the Winch and Family and Friends to um, keep supporting the school. Few ways to help your child when you're at home. You can read with them, do their math homework, practice their spellings, practice the common exception words, talk to them about their handwriting, get them to practice, show you what they've done, even teach you how to do the letters they've done as well. Practice counting forwards and backwards, um, all the way up to 100, I would say, starting at any point too. Um, Get them to give you one more or one less than a number and even 10 more and 10 less than a number. There's a hundred square just there that would help them with that if they need it. Practice their number bonds. The number bonds to 10, which they should be really secure in from year one, can then be applied to number bonds to 20 and to 100. And we, while we'll be doing that in class, it never hurts to practice that at home too. Uh, and then the times table facts. We probably won't make it to multiplication and division until closer to Christmas or even after Christmas, but it, 
like I say, it never really hurts to practice the two times, five times and 10 times table facts. There's loads of songs on YouTube for that. Um, some are catchier than others. So um, maybe pick wisely on that one, I would say. Um, and then telling the time too. That's something that it's you know good to practice, that we can practice all of the time. Um, we pride ourselves on our open door policy at Wincham and we'll talk to parents and work with you in any way we can. If it's not easy for you to come in, that's not a problem. Just email me on the class email address and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, we try to check them before school. Um, and then if there's anything that we need to address during the day, then we will obviously do that. Um, and if feedback's needed, then we will provide that to you. This is the point where I would say any questions and hopefully things would either come through the chat or you'd maybe have ideas that you'd want to email me about. Please feel free to do so. If you need to, that's not a problem at all. Um, and I will get back to you with answers. And if I can't answer the questions, then I will find somebody who can. Um, thanks so much for listening. And I can't wait to work with you and your lovely children this year. Bye.